Hi everyone, I am Sam Provenzano and I am on staff uh, in education at the Alliance Theater and I am a theater maker and director. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Washington. I'm an actor and a teaching artist here in Atlanta. Andrea and I work together on Gimme Please, a theater for the very young show at the Alliance. And uh, we decided we're just gonna ask each other questions back and forth. Uh, about our process and about theater for the very young and uh, making art for babies in Atlanta. I was curious actually of how it went from 18 characters because mm. that's how you started at UT Austin to dwindling down all those different nuances that you created for two characters or two actors to portray. Yeah yeah that's a good question. I, I it was a lot of looking at that 18 person version and and, and figuring out because that version was like um, modules, we call them, where it's like mm -hmm. short performance pieces, and they were all kind of linked um, in the sense that they shared the same palette, being the receipt paper, wooden spheres, party hats, um, water, light, playing with light. So they were all um, connected that way. And so we were like, what what is the drama of this like where is their drama in this version and we came up with this idea of wanting um and that the that there are two of these characters and one has more life experience than the other um and then looking again at those modules and seeing like what are the fun games that are interactive that are joyful that get at this idea of of wanting and teaching and giving gifts and receiving gifts and all the complications of that. Mm -hmm. um, that. That was one of my favorite parts is our, the, the gameplay because um, the kids first come in and they're just these two characters or three characters with a cellist and then they're invited into the world which is the gimme world and one of the activities is um, that the little gimme is given a gift and uh, almost given a gift, really. It's taken back and it becomes a game. And we invite somebody from the audience to come and play the game where they shake the box and uh, they try to hide it for a little gimme. And we use that language, the mm hmms and the mm hmms to try to give them hints of where the person is because little gimme is blindfolded. And it's, um, it's exciting to watch the kid realize, oh, it's okay to explore this space. And even the kids sitting watching in the audience, cheering on the person on stage, you're like, you can do it, go this way, go this way. It's, it's so interactive and that's just, you don't get that feeling anywhere else but in TVY. Yeah, yeah. I guess that is a question I have for you um, because you've done so much theater for the very young. Uh, and you're, you're literally one of my favorite actors to watch because you are so in tune, especially with the littles, like you're so in tune with how to perform and carry the narrative and be like the teaching artist in the room. Like you have such a, a great brain for all of that. It takes a, a really skilled actor to do theater for babies. Um, <laughs> and so because you've done so much of it, my question is how like can you talk about interactivity with this group right because like we usually don't make plays for adults that have like hey join us on stage walk on this tightrope um yeah can you talk a little bit about that i guess that's just the nature of theater for the very young is that the fourth wall is broken and it's invitational for the kids to interact um the first time i did that it was quite a jarring i was like i don't know what's about to happen but kind of you, you jump into your mode of improvisation where you already know the story there is an outline but the kids kind of help to guide you there so um when we would perform the show I can't say it ever felt like the exact same show because we had an additional character, which were the kids that kind of helped uh, manipulate how we responded to things. So that was, it's, it's one of my favorite aspects of TVY, to be honest. And yeah. every time I do a show, it's, I, I have to write notes of what happened. Oh my goodness, this show, a kid came and explored the nest early because they see that we're in it, or this kid responded to the lights in the show. Uh, just little nuances like that. Yeah. It's just tough. And I would say as a director, like on the outside watching, because we do, we pull in kids in the development process. Like, I think you and I both agree that like having kids in the room 
as early as possible, even before we're comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. like, it teaches us so much. And so it, as a director- It sets the structure. We have an idea of what we think will work, but it's when we have these practice guinea pigs, these little kids that come and test things out that we realize this works or oh my goodness I never thought they would react to something completely different let's see if we can play with that a little bit more yeah they're literally the experts and oh so absolutely and, and they let it, you know it <laughs> yeah yeah watching it as a director is like once it's like out of your hands it's 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 like a roller coaster because <laughs> like oh there's the there's the beautiful opening oh we got that oh they're really it's landing da 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 and then the second they take control it's like whoop <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah. Another one that I was wondering about is just the props necessary, uh, specifically, I should say, the, the paper that we use. How did that concept come into play? And I, I have to, we have to talk about the rehearsal process of learning <laughs> what works and what doesn't work with paper. Ooh, oh, man. Yeah. So uh, in Gimme Please, these gimmies live in giant nests of receipt paper. Um, and there was like a lot of trial with what receipt paper is safe to bury actors in and safe for kids to like put in their mouth. Uh, some of it's not safe, as we found out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, in the second iteration, I wanted to try and be more environmental. And so I was like, because the receipt paper, we have to recycle it every, what is it, five shows, every four shows. Yeah, uh, two, four, about every three or four shows, yeah. Yeah, because kids get in it at the end, and there's, and it travels to different schools, and it's, it's yucky. It gets but, icky, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what else have we not discussed? Oh, the costumes. Yeah, costumes. I love the costumes for this show. They're mm -hmm. so beautiful, and that, that came from um, April Andrews designed them, and Megan Allritz, uh really had the, like, um, vision and held the the reins on these um, and I know she wanted she thought a lot about um, and in our discussions we thought a lot about um, costuming theater for young audiences um, and how there's assumptions made about what kids like um, or what kids think is aesthetically pleasing um, and how sometimes that's like simplified and even oversimplified yeah, um, um, the teacher in me, the teaching artist, I loved how April used such details to the, um, the costumes on what we wore. They were made out of felt, and I love that it was a craft um, material that students would use any time. And the details she added to it were like Little Gimme had these very folded up feathers, and Big Gimme, they were really more expanded to show the difference in age. Um, and then they they had lights on them as if they, we couldn't be even more magical. The, the vests that we wore, they lit up. Yeah, so beautiful. So stunning, yes. Yeah, and then those leggings are so gorgeous with like the gold that like, ugh. Yeah, it's just like a beautiful costume. And, it, and it's the case that costumes, you know, it, it should be appealing to both the young and the caretaker because the caretaker is often in the audience too. So how do we appeal to to them also. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess one one question I have for you that uh, that we could tackle is this idea of uh, key moments of discovery. Can you think of a story or a moment where you discovered something either in the rehearsal room or in, like even on tour? I think um, one is The realization, uh, I, more so in the remount when we did the show and we changed the ending slightly where we realized that, that Big Gimme is teaching all of these Gimme nuances to Little Gimme and Little Gimme finally gets it at the end where she learns to give a gift and she she leaves it for her, uh, for Big Gimme. And something for that to, to happen after time and time again Big Gimme's teaching her, this is how we give, and we, we do it with care, and we do it with love, and we do it because we want to, and to see that come full circle at the end, a lot of times, the very end of the show, when I'm opening the box, that kind of, that gets me every time, it's like, oh, wow, it's, it's full circle moment there. 
Oh, I love that. That's cool. I love that ending moment too. And I, and I love when the kids like rush the stage, like it's a rock concert and they just mm-hmm. dive in. Oh, I love this play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that, that's one of my favorites is just at the end where they all come on and we've learned like, depending on what the age group is, if they're with families, we, we have them all come and rush the stage. We've tried that when there was whole schools and it gets, it gets like organized chaos, but we found kind of like little things to fix it where we bring the paper out to the audience and they just put their arms up and they just love that all of this paper is raining down on them and they just, they dive right into it, literally. Yeah, I've seen kids on the ground, like using their arms, making paper angels, like it was snow on the ground. I love that. I know. I love that. I love that the play ends with this ability to like be wild and, and that, and it's okay. Like scream, yell, be wild, throw paper, jump. Uh, yeah. I just love it. Yeah. Um, so thanks for chatting with me, artist. No problem. I'm so glad I get to connect with you this way. And I hope that everyone will get a chance to see Gimme Please again in the future. Yeah. And I hope we get to continue to make this work in the future. Absolutely. Yay. Bye. Bye.